Hello YouTube, Sidekick here in our trusty A29B Super Tucano, and we're on the Marianas map, if you couldn't tell, by the local fauna. Uh, let, maybe the easiest way to describe the mission here is just go back and look at the description uh, before we jumped in. We're basically, it's a counterinsurgency mission. We've got some local troops that have gone out, um, and they have ended up getting ambushed, and they are hunkered down, and they have called for some air support. Uh, so we're going out there armed with rockets. Uh, and let's just take a quick look at the mission planner. And we can see kind of what the situation is. So we're on the island of Rota. As you can see, and we'll just zoom back here. And then, so this little promontory down on the end, you might remember that when I did my Marianas uh, tour, I thought this might make an interesting spot for a mission. So you can see there's a little built-up area here, and the enemy contacts are in the built-up area. The friendly troops are hunkered down there, um, just trying to cross the isthmus. Uh, and so our job is going to be take out uh, enemy in both of those areas. So let's go jump back in the cockpit and get started. All right, here we are, just getting ready to take off. Get the flaps down, get the trim pulled back. Been a while since I flew the A-29. It's fun to be back in this aircraft. And today we're flying in Indonesian colors, which I thought was appropriate for this uh, style of mission. And we're off. I had forgotten how much fun the A-29 was to fly. Uh, more to the point, how easy it is to get in the cockpit and actually fly this aircraft and, and actually, uh, you know, accomplish a decent mission. Uh, it really is a nice addition to the uh, to the DCS stable, and uh, always worth mentioning that it is a free community mod. So everything we're doing today uh, only requires the base game in DCS. All right, so we've taken off here, and we're just climbing out, getting our airspeed established, so we can start our climb. And so the basic idea here is that we're gonna uh, turn right and climb to the first waypoint, which also happens to be our initial point. Um, and at that point, we're going to start getting some radio messages that will give us instructions for what to do. So this mission is one that I will make available on my Discord server, as per usual. The link will be in the description. So you are welcome to give it a try. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you do. Uh, there's no separate scoring system on this one. Uh, but the scoring is baked into the usual DCS score, so you can, at the end of the mission, see how you do. All right, so there we can see the waypoints coming on screen. It's a little high. we got to climb a little higher to get up to it. There we go. And so we're just going to climb towards the waypoint, and uh, then when we get close, uh, we'll get some radio messages that will give us some more instructions. And this is a really great way to see the, the uh, Marianas map. Fairly low level, fairly low speed. And I, I've really enjoyed putting this mission together. It didn't take a whole lot of work, and I think it's an entertaining little mission, and it kind of sticks with the theme of the channel the last little while of using rockets. So we're almost there. We go. We get our first message. Okay, so. Okay, the enemy. We got one set of enemy that's 250 meters away from the friendlies, another that's 500. And uh, we have a menu item now that lets us ask for a smoke mark on the friendly, so we'll do that. That's optional. You don't have to get the green smoke. You can see the green smoke coming up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn so I'm running roughly roughly 90 so they say the enemy's bearing 225 which i think is straight down that isthmus but i'm just going to turn until i'm flying about 90 degrees to that um so i can just confirm every all the enemy is is um to my left down the isthmus away from that green smoke okay so i think that's probably corresponds to the front of that sort of gray a little built up area and then probably the back tree line there on the back side of the tree line so I do want to be careful that we're not getting very close to that smoke uh, since that's where the friendlies are
and we can also see another smoke and a little fire down there burning that must be the APC that they lost in the earlier action so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come keep going out extend out this direction and then hang a left and uh, come back in let's get fenced in uh, carrying four rocket pods so I'm just gonna fire salvos of four rockets at a time I think that'll probably work and I think we're fenced in now so as I was saying I think I'll go out to the right yeah, keep going this way and come back I'm gonna come back along the tree line so so um, I'm not overflying the friendly troops I'm flying parallel to the, the forward line of own troops I guess it's say I want to get much higher than this or we're going to start to get into the clouds so start bending around here try and set ourselves up for a not too steep pass right along that front tree line that runs kind of along in front of that little built up area Let's see what we can do with that Like I said, it's uh, it's been really easy to get back into the Super Tucano and get the swing of things. I still do find, at least for me, um, the CCIP pepper for the rockets, at least at the ranges that I'm using them, I've tested it. Um, the rockets aren't going to the center of the pepper; they're going to about the bottom uh, edge of the pepper, and this may just be the effect that we've been talking about with rockets, that they do tend to fall a little bit below their trajectory, especially if you're using them at longer ranges. But just so you know, using the bottom edge of the range circle there, the pipper circle, as my aiming mark. Now well, we got a little bit of AAA taking some notice of us. So right around there. All right, I think we covered that tree line pretty good and we got a message from the ground troops saying that we, uh, that we did in fact get some of the enemy there. There are, oops, we still got some ground fire coming up. All right, so now we want to take a look at the back tree line. So yeah, in this mission, uh, the enemy is mostly dismounted ground troops, so we're not going to see them. We're going to have to depend on the ground troops uh, spotting to tell us where to find them. Um, but it looks like we covered them pretty well there. So now I'm just gaining altitude, going back out, come back around from this direction, just to avoid giving the ground exactly the same look again. Um, the ground fire wasn't particularly close, but it wasn't all that far away either. Okay, so coming around, coming back from this direction. So now we're going to look at the back half of the town. So, you know, it looks like we covered the front half pretty good. Now, uh, the way it was described, the mortars are, uh, they'd be on the far side of the town from us now in that clearing, I think. So maybe we'll aim at that end of the far tree, of that back tree line. See if we can get those mortars. Yeah. Okay, want to get high enough. Don't want to be too too low angle. Want to get enough height that we get decent perspective on the target there. Yeah, there's a little sort of dip in the tree line there. It goes back a little bit. I think somewhere in there is where the mortars might be. So. So, get ourselves lined up. Once again, we're looking at the bottom of the pipper as our aiming mark. We probably need to get a little bit closer than this. And we got some AAA coming. There we go. Yes. All right, looks like we got the mortars. Okay, once again, that's, that seemed to be a pretty fair aiming mark, the bottom of the circle. So let's go out uh, this way and let's make one more pass. And you know what? I think uh, I've probably had enough messing about. Let's, um, oopsie. I don't know where that came from. Doesn't look like it hit us though. All right, I think I'm gonna change this. I think I don't want this to be my last run. Uh, so I'm just gonna change the ripple quantity to everything that's left, which is nine per, per tube nine per launcher and I'm just going to take an aim at the middle of that back tree line and we'll expend the rest of the ammunition all 
All right, so coming around, we're a little farther out here. Need to gain a little bit of altitude, get back in a little closer. Somewhere right in the middle of the back there. I love that sound. All right. Selves lined up. Going to be a fairly low angle pass. Hopefully we'll spread all the remains of these rockets along that tree line. And we're rolling in. I think lots of time. We've got lots of height here. Get ourselves lined up. Somewhere. There we go. Right around there. Nice, 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 nice. All right, time to get out of Dodge. And here's what it looked like from the ground. Which would definitely have been a bad day if you were an insurgent in that area. So we are Winchester, so I think it's time for us to head out. And you know what? We're so close to the field, I think... Uh, in this video, often I don't I don't uh, stick around until we actually uh, get home to base, but I think we can today. So uh, it's been a while since I flew the Tucano. Let's go ahead and actually uh, try landing here. Going to keep the empty launchers attached. There's no reason to waste them. So I think that's a pretty fun little mission. Uh, nice and self-contained. You know, if you wanted to. You could probably go back and land and rearm and go back out there. Uh, you know, I think there's still some some uh, insurgents that we didn't get. So, all right. So we need to slow down here. We're a little high, but I think uh, not too bad. And we we'll get the flaps down, and we'll get the gear down. I was reading the other day about a, a campaign in the Second World War in the South Pacific, I think it was Peleliu, uh, where the Marine pilots flying Corsairs off the airfield didn't even bother raising and lowering their landing gear. They were so close to their target areas, they would take off the end of the runway and go almost straight into their attack runs and they wouldn't even bother raising their landing gear. So, Not quite that bad here, uh, but it's uh, similar. You don't spend a whole lot of time getting to and from the target area. All right, so we got our staple there. We're a little bit low, but that's okay. We'll just uh, raise the power because we're a little bit fast too. So we'll raise the power, raise the nose. Looking nice. You know, this is really, I'm rem remembering now, one of the things I really enjoy about the A29. It flies very well at low speed. Uh, compared to the shake, rattle, and roll routine you get from an A4, um, on a landing approach and uh, you know the A4 and a lot of the other jets get decidedly mushy uh, in this region of flight the uh, the A29 is really very nice okay so we're holding our approach right at the threshold we're in the staple and we're still pulling back a little slowing down a little bit and once we've made the field, pull the power back and start the flare. And hold it off. You have to be a little careful with the A29 not to go back too far and have a tail strike, but we managed to avoid it there. All right, so here we are back on the ground. So that's uh, a little mission uh, I call uh, Indonesian Insurgents. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, hopefully you're motivated to give it a try. The mission's available on my Discord server. It doesn't require anything except the base game and the free Community A29B mod. So by all means, give it a try. And if you're liking these videos, please do remember to subscribe to the channel and, hey, tell all your friends. And for now, this is going to be Sidekick, signing off.